We begin with the quiz problem. We have a depth function. Depth of t equals 0 0.02 t squared minus 12 t plus 30. We might assume this is in centimeters and that clock time is measured in seconds, but it's not necessary at this point. The rate function is the derivative of this function, and we're asked to find the rate function. So we have to observe that the rate function is the derivative. Now in red I've written up here that if y equals at squared plus bt plus c, here we have the associated rate function y prime equals 2at plus b that we've derived. We see that rate is the derivative of the depth function, and the derivative of this function is this. Because a is 0 0.02, 2 a is 0 0.04, b is negative 12, so we have b equals negative 12 down here. Now there were several questions asked. One question was, at clock time of 40 seconds, what's the rate? Well, that's fairly simple. The rate is going to be the derivative of the depth function with 40 seconds plugged in for the clock time t. We evaluate that and we very easily see that that's negative 10.4. Negative 10.4 what? Well, that depends on the units again. Uh, if we assume that everything is in centimeters and seconds, as with our models that we've measured in class, that's going to be negative 10.4 centimeters per second. We have another question question is when is the rate equal to negative 10? Okay, we just saw that at 40 seconds the rate was negative 10.4. Now when is the rate negative 10? Well, we set the depth prime or the derivative of the depth function of t equal to negative 10. We substitute for the depth function of t uh, or the rate of change function 0.04t minus 12 which we've just obtained equal to negative 10 and we solve and we easily find that the uh, clock time is 50, uh, we might assume 50 seconds when the depth rate of change reaches negative 10.